Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and I am here for another top 5 video. And this top 5 video will be for my top 5 uncommon metalhead facts about me. Now, I think a lot of people can relate to this. I think there's actually a lot of uncommon facts when it comes to several metalheads. I think a lot of people can agree, you know, for themselves and all that. But, you know, um, even though there are a lot of uncommon metalhead facts about me, of course there are some, you know metalhead uh, facts about me that you would consider metal. Like the fact that I'm willing to explore, you know, different subgenres of metal and am a fan of a lot of bands that are in different subgenres of metal. But obviously there's some su subgenres that I just steer away from. But that's just a matter of taste, honestly. And, um, you know, I'm also a fan of, you know, basically the essential metal bands, Black Sabbath, Pantera, Iron Maiden, you know, pretty much any metalhead should be a fan of those bands, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, did you guys know that there are actually some uncommon metalhead facts about me? Well, that's what we'll be getting into for this uh, video, so yeah. And it's in no particular order either, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. So first up, first up is actually uh, maybe kind of surprising, but first up, it's the fact that I do not like black metal. Now, some of you guys might be looking at me thinking, like, how dare you even call yourself a metalhead if you can't even tolerate or like black metal? But you see, I'm not really one of those people who goes out and sees how heavy they can go in their metalhead journey. That's not really what my purpose is, because I know that uh, there was someone who did think that that was my purpose of being a metalhead, like, see how heavy I can go. But no. To me, it's just, you like what you like, you know, and if it happens to be a heavier band, you know, so be it. But typically, I don't, you know, just try to see how heavy I can go, you know, because I know black metal is, you know, a very extreme uh, subgenre. And personally, I'm just not the biggest fan of black metal, you know, um, and I know some people say that, you know, it's basically mandatory to be um, into the subgenre in order to be a metalhead. But... That's just so dumb because it's like, it's not even like metal originated in black metal, you know. Did Black Sabbath start out as a, you know, a black metal band or something? No. So, it's like one of those things where it's like, what argument could you really make, you know? But yeah, personally not a fan of black metal, but if you do like it, hey, more power to you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the next thing on the list. Next thing on the list is that I am not a Slayer fan. Yes, believe it or not, I am a metalhead that doesn't like Slayer. Now, I know some of you might be looking at me again thinking, I'm taking your metalhead identity away, and you can have it back once you become a fan of Slayer. But personally, I like I said, I just happen to be one of those metalheads that aren't a fan of Slayer. And the funny thing is, I'm actually a fan of the entire Big Four, you know, um, except for Slayer. Um, you know, I like Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax. Um, I like all those bands, but Slayer, surprisingly, is that band that doesn't do it for me. And it's kind of surprising since they're one of the more popular bands in that category, besides Metallica, of course. Um, but yeah, personally, I'm just not a fan of Slayer. I mean, I don't really have a big problem with Slayer. You know, I have uh, checked them out before, so don't think, you know, I'm just... I haven't heard any of their music I have, but... Yeah, they just don't really do much for me as much as the other uh, three bands do in the big four. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, which, um, oh boy, I might be, uh, I might, uh, this one might sting a little bit too. <laughs> but next up is that I am not a Ghost fan. That's right. Now, Ghost is a band that I have checked out, once again, just like with Slayer, I've checked out their music. But they don't do anything for me either, you know? Um, I know this band is rather popular within the metal community, you know. You know, I, I just can't really get behind their music and their themes and stuff. Like, they are they have this, like, Egyptian... I don't know if the Egyptian's the right word, but they have this, like, theme going for them that I'm just... fine, kind of lame, I guess. Um, and, yeah, the music itself, I, I'm just not really the biggest fan of either. But I know that there's people that do like this band, and that's fine. But, yeah, um, Ghost, um, I can't say that, like, I hate the band. I'm just not a fan of them. 
personally, you know. Um, and I know that they are rather popular, and but I do think that they are rather overrated, highly overrated, kind of like Slayer, I, I think. But yeah, surprisingly, I'm not a fan of ghosts. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. The next thing, I guess, isn't that really big, that big of a deal, but it's the fact that I do not have tattoos. Yes, um, I think, you know, this one you could say is just a stupid argument to make, and it is, you know. But I know there's that small majority amount of metalheads out there that maybe do think that you have to have tattoos in order to be a metalhead. But me, I do not. So, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so the next thing, and the last thing on the list, of course, is that I have never been to a metal show. You heard me right, I've never been to a metal concert. Um, but I did go see the band Red, you know, uh, some years back. But that was not a metal show, that was a rock show. So, yeah, but as far as, like, a legitimate metal show goes, no, I've never really been to one, you know. I've never really, never got the experience like Mosh or, you know, be in the atmosphere of, um, of a metal crowd or anything. Um, there are several things that I think hold me back from uh, attending metal shows. Uh, of course, due to locations and money and stuff, you know. And due to the lack of bands that uh, perform around here, um, most of the bands that do perform around here are, you know, bands that actually did form around here, like August Burns Red and Breaking Benjamin. But, you know, um, a lot of bands usually don't uh, form around here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, there is several reasons why, and I think it's the atmosphere, too. Um, you know, maybe it'll just be a bad show or whatever, like there will be a bunch of fights and stuff, you know, because I know a lot of metalheads do like to act like tough guys, so, yeah. But I don't know. Um, I think one of these days I still will attend a metal show one of these days, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, who will I go see? I don't know. Uh, but I hope it's one of the legendary bands, you know. Uh, one of the bands that formed back in the 80s, if, if they don't retire by then. But, who knows. But anyways, guys, um, that is it for my list of my top five uncommon metalhead features about me. So, let me know what you guys think. What are some uncommon metalhead features that you can think of? Please let me know down in the comments. And what do you guys think of my list? Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.